Hey friends and welcome back. This is the second video in the Building a Church Farm series. And today we're going to build upon the why of last week, why we're building a church farm. And we're going to talk about the how, the how of it all. And that's a really complicated question. But before we do that, I want to talk about the uh, what I thought was a coyote last week. I showed you this video of something we captured on our trail cam where the garden is going to be. I thought this was too big to be a fox. But in talking to local disc golfers who use our course and talking to local neighbors and talking to uh, people in the church who know more about animals, we decided that this was actually a very large red fox, which is pretty exciting. And this week I got it on camera again, very briefly. It's almost like he was, he noticed he was in camera and then popped out as quickly as he could. And so here he is again. That to me is a red fox just sort of trying to get out of the way of this camera as much as he can. That's really exciting. So we're still looking for names. Some of you submitted some, some funny, biblical, punny names. One of you said we should name the fox Bathsheba because Bathsheba was foxy. So we're still looking for names. And uh, yeah, so if you have any fun, punny, uh, biblical, theological names, uh, send them our way. We want to name our fox here, and we're happy that she's here. In Wilmington, we don't have a lot of wildlife, so when we find it, we, we, we want to cherish it and celebrate it. So, But today, we're talking about the how. So we're building a church farm. We're going to be harvesting food. How are we going to get that food into the hands of those that we serve? And that actually is a much more complicated question than you would realize. And so our Jedi Council, it's hard for me to keep a straight face when I say Jedi Council. I had to tell my boss recently about the Jedi Council, and the Jedi Council is not this, although it, in this scenario, I would be Yoda. Uh, the Jedi Council is, is a team of people in our church, and it's, it's an acronym. It stands for Justice, Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion. And we thought long and hard about how to get this, this fresh food into the hands of those we're called to serve, keeping in mind that we worship a, a God that fed miraculously thousands of people and gave food away. We, we keep in mind that part of the reason for doing this, expanding this food mission, is that we want to have a more dignified kind of way of serving these people. And so, so here's what we came up with, and this is, this is the model that we're going to try. This is what we're going to begin with. We're going to remain flexible, recognizing that we don't have all the answers, and this is what we're going to try. And so here it goes. We want to have a 12-month harvest. That is a, a, a major goal for us. We want to grow as much food as we can. And so as we're designing the garden, we're thinking to ourselves constantly, we, we have to expand as much as we can in the time that we can, and then grow as long as we can. So in order to do that, we have to have some greenhouses. We, we purchased a greenhouse uh, yesterday. It's an eight foot by 24 foot greenhouse. It's a very nice greenhouse. It's gonna be great for us. We're gonna be able to grow a ton in there. It's going to come to us in 13 boxes. So if you are if you love putting together Ikea furniture, this will be your Everest. Let us know if you want to help us put that together. It's going to be a giant jigsaw puzzle of putting this thing together. I'm actually really excited for it. Uh, but also, once, you, once we harvest that food, and we're going to be hiring someone in the next week or two to kind of lead us. They'll be the, the farm manager. We got a lot, of, a lot of you have volunteered to help out in the farm. There are going to be sign-up sheets pretty soon to help out with that. And so once we pull our volunteers together, pull our farm manager together and begin growing and, and, and you know, working in this soil and harvesting this food, uh, we're working on the, the, the trustees here at Harbor. We're going to purchase what we're calling a farm truck, but it's going to be more like a, uh, a farm van. And it's going to be likely it has some sort of it's going to be wholly refrigerated or have some sort of refrigeration component so that we can put the food that we harvest in there. Now, the existing food mission that we have and have had for over a decade, we're still going to supplement what we grow, some of their food with the fresh food that we grow. That, that's not going to change. But primarily, that food is going to go to the mobile mission that we're, that we're setting up now. And so once we put that food in a, on a truck, or, or on a van, rather, uh, we're going to go into these particular neighborhoods that we're trying to serve, and we're going to set a time and let them know, hey, we're coming here at this time. And then once we go, we're not going to be there for 10 or 15 minutes. We're gonna, we're gonna park there for a while, let them know we're gonna be here from this hour to this hour. And then when they get there, we talked a lot about this. What, what for us, in keeping with our mission, because we're not, we're not just a nonprofit, we're also a religious faith-based institution that worships Christ. Uh, what's the best way to do this in, in, a, in a dignified way? And so we decided that we're gonna give them 
little bags like this. And we're going to say, look, here's a bag. We invite you to, to, to fill up your bag with, with the food that we have here. Uh, it may be that we need to supplement that food from other farms. We're going to look into that pretty soon. And then as they fill it up, we can say, look, there's, there's an opportunity to donate uh, to what we do here. You're more than welcome to. Uh, they're always appreciated. And uh, some will and some won't. And if they feel like in their heart they need to, in order for it to be a more dignified process, that they need to, to give a little back in return, they can do that. That option is available to them. And so we'll, we'll have that invitation to them. But because it, it is something that we're, we're, we're planning to give away, and that we believe is in keeping with the, the God that we worship. And so um, we, we, we pick this model very humbly, recognizing that it can change, that we'll, we'll need to tweak it. So we're remaining flexible. And uh, look, if you have any ideas about the best way to do this, maybe you have some experience with this, let us know. We are wide open. We are wide open. And so let us know what you think. Also, another wild idea that we had, and let us know what you think about this too. We have a shed uh, near our, our food ministry trailer. Here it is. It's been a great shed for us. It's getting older, and we've got a great barn, and we're going to consolidate. We're going to put what's inside of the shed into the barn. And we want to move the shed to give us space, but then we thought, you know, it's, it's kind of too old to sell. It's really difficult to move. An idea we had was, what if we converted it into a greenhouse? So I don't know anything about construction. <laughs> it sounds super easy. Oh yeah, you, you pop the roof off, you take the siding off, you put some some of that, you know, whatever that, that stuff is you put in greenhouses, you just put it on there. Um, but realistically, if you know anything about construction, do you think this is a good idea? Uh, do you think that this is possible? Uh, how wild of an idea is this? Let us know, let us know. Also, one thing that we're considering moving forward, I, I went to a, a wonderful seminar yesterday at UNCW and. Uh, they're making an attempt to sort of pull together all of the mobile wellness missions. And it's not just food. In fact, primarily it's not food. It, it's uh, dentistry, uh, physicals, health checks. Um, I think in the last couple of years, it's been uh, COVID test screenings. And so um, there's an idea to kind of pull this all together. And at least twice a year, maybe we can all kind of come together and be a, a place for the community to sort of have a wellness check and, and, and get food in return. How amazing would that be? But long term, we want to collaborate with, with some of these so that when we go to these neighborhoods, it's not just us. They can see us. They can see some other sort of mobile wellness centers. And I got to tell you, I was so inspired by the work that's being done in our community. Uh, there are people that I've never heard of who are doing really inspiring work. You know, some of them work for the county. Some of them are self-employed. Uh, some of them do work that I've never even never even fathomed. And so uh, they do it in secret I've never seen pictures of it or videos of it. And uh, for me, as a, as a theologian, that's very much in keeping with the God that we worship because Jesus liked for people to do their best work in secret. He encouraged us to do that. And so, so we hope to collaborate with people in the future. Now, that's the how. If you have any ideas about, about the how of it all, let us know. Uh, next week, we're going to talk more about the nitty-gritty of building a church farm. And so we hope to see you then. Talk to you soon and join us next week.